Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Braniff, and today I have another decluttering and organizing video for you guys. As you know, if you've been following along, tackling my whole house, decluttering my entire life, as I like to say. And today's video, we're tackling two bathrooms. This bathroom, which is our upstairs bathroom for our children. And then we're also, I'm also gonna be doing the downstairs bathroom, which is our guest bath, downstairs bath. We have eight children, so the, all of them having everything in one bathroom just wouldn't really work well for us, and it doesn't really work well for our lifestyle. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how we have things divided up between those two bathrooms to accommodate all of our children. So my under cabinets of my bathroom sinks, I mean, it's it's pretty bad. Things were just thrown in there. In fact, we found a lovely surprise in the downstairs bathroom. So stay tuned for that if you're into yeah, things, which some of you are. Some of y'all are like, thank you for showing the dust and the dirt. I appreciate it. It makes me feel normal. Or you just enjoy seeing that satisfaction of something like messy get clean. Um, but anyway, so there's lots of that today. Lots of that. If you are enjoying this series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Like I said, I'm doing everything, my whole house. And the next decluttering video is gonna be the big mama jamma, which is the kitchen, pantry, refrigerator, cabinets, like all of that. So that's going to be a very, very, very robust video. So be sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss it. But let's go ahead and jump into today's decluttering and organization project, which is the bathroom. All right, so this is the kids' shared upstairs bathroom. This is definitely on my list of things that I'd eventually like to renovate and do different flooring, uh, get a new tub in here. I don't know, it's kind of gnarly. Uh, anyways, so, so figuring out a system that works for all of our kids has been a challenge. Uh, my oldest girls keep their stuff in like kitten caboodle things up in their rooms and they bring it down. Um, and then we usually keep toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, stuff like that for the younger kids in the downstairs bathroom because Sierra and I are always down there doing hair and getting kids ready and stuff. So that's just an easier place for that stuff and a quicker place. Plus, again, every family's different. Every family situation is different. Uh, we have a six-year-old and two eight-year-olds who use this bathroom very regularly. Um, our eight-year-old daughter has Down syndrome, and so sometimes that means she likes to play in things or use other people's toothbrushes or things like that. So it's kind of a unique situation in that I don't know, it's just like I can't just leave things out and stuff. I have to like put things away and keep things organized and sort of be overseeing a lot of that stuff for all of the kids or all of the, the younger uh, six basically. So, so my kids have about a million toothbrushes, I'm not gonna lie, uh, because they frequently go, I don't remember which one was mine or so-and-so touched mine. So we end up with a lot of toothbrushes. There's nothing really in this side but a deodorant and a scrubber, which I don't even really know why that's in there. I'm kind of scared to open this because like I said, particularly my, my daughter tends to stuff things and hide things in weird places. So I haven't looked in here in a little while. So I'm kind of scared what's under here. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, there's just no organization. We've got a potty seat, Rosie's toiletry bag. I've got these, like I said, I've been saving stuff as I move from room to room to be able to reuse it. A toilet brush, toilet cleaner, a hair pick. Okay, so all this just needs to be emptied, cleaned out, um, and sort of reorganized. So yeah, or organized to begin with. Oh, I need contact paper for the bottom of that. All right, and up here is just where we keep some cleaners. There's some air freshener up there and a little bit of this stuff, which we only have one of them left. So, um, oh, and apparently my daughter left her eyeshadow palette in here and some sea salt. <laughs> Grand Nana, we're thinking of you. This is my husband's mom. <laughs> when she's here, she takes baths sometimes and she uses coarse sea salt in her baths. So that's why that's up here. I am gonna kind of give the bathroom a, a quick cleaning. I see somebody smearing some toothpaste on the wall and stuff like that, but it's more about putting in better organization systems. And that's not something I've done a whole lot of in other videos. Um, it's just more been cleaning out what we have. So this one's gonna be a little more focused on actually implementing better organization systems as well, because as you can see, like under the sink just doesn't really get used because we find we keep everything in the bathroom downstairs. So it's easier for Christopher and I to manage it and uh, kind of stay on top of all of the hygiene stuff for all the little kids. Bum, doo 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 doo
So, a long, long time ago, Best Intentions, Angie, talked about this before when we did a video with Catherine from Do It On A Dime, I talked about it a little bit. But one of the things that has stuck out to me the most is how often I buy things for the person that I wish I was, or the, the level of organization I wish I had, or the things I wish I was doing uh, in a fantasy world, or a fantasy self, if you will. But so this is an example. I have things that I have purchased over the years as like, I'm gonna get this bathroom organized. I bought this bar from Ikea and these little things and I was gonna write the kids' names on them and each one would have their toothbrush and their toothpaste and their deodorant in it. Um, and number one, as you can see, it never actually got hung. And number two, those kind of organizational things are really cute and they look great on Pinterest, but how your family functions matters more. And like I said, I never want to seem like I'm shaming any of my kids because I'm not, but it's just um, if you have a child with special needs and certain cognitive special needs, you know that sometimes that affects how you can do things um, because for Rosie, her curiosity overtakes her in a lot of situations and she would much rather, like I said, play with someone else's toothbrush or mess with someone else's stuff. And um, yeah, so for us, these systems, as cute as they are, as much as I wish they worked for us, they just don't. And we have to learn to accept the things that don't work for us and let go of it and move on and figure out what will. Otherwise, these kind of disasters just continue to ensue while we sit around waiting for this sort of fantasy self or fantasy version of what we wish our life looks like or what we wish we could have or do instead of just working with what we've got and the situation we've got and making the best of it. So that's a, a huge takeaway for me and everything I've done. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Downstairs bathroom, um, and this is where we keep a lot of stuff. And it's kind of Grand Central Station. Kids keep a bunch of toothbrushes and stuff down here. Some Q-tips. Under here is where the real nightmare begins because I've attempted organization before under here, and as you can see, it's just kind of gone to the crapper. I've got a little. Lazy Susan here, I've got a bin, but this is where we keep hair products and skin products. Um, just, I mean, we have so much stuff under here and we get to this stuff all the time, but then it gets messy. So this is really where I wanna kinda hit the organization hard and figure out a system or a way to, to store all this stuff that it's easier and more functional for us.
thing and uh, just goes to show you when things fall down behind other things and you don't see them and get nasty real quick but it was just cleaner so it wasn't like a gross substance it was just cleaner but still yuck piece um, under the cabinets some new contact paper and now I'm just going to kind of pull all of this together uh, get all the organization stuff put back in place all the cleaning part is done and cleaning out part so it's just the organizing and the putting away part which is kind of fun So here is the finished downstairs bathroom and there's actually nothing in these. Um, there's not really a reason for there to be anything so I'm just going to leave them empty. And under here we have sort of the new storage and systems in place for all of the kids um, hygiene stuff and hair care stuff. Like in this one this is Noah's drawer so in here we just keep like toothbrush, toothpaste, flossers, deodorant, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then Jonah has a drawer as well and then they have their shared hair drawer down here and their hair care stuff is just their stuff that's um, some oil and stuff like that that they use and then right here next to that is just this little tray that has some of their different lotions and body oils and stuff extra toilet paper and then on this side we have Ivy and Amelia Rosie and then down at the bottom is again just sort of like a shared hair care bin um, and then in there's in the little top here I've got like these little tiny holders um, right now they just have clear elastics but um, I'm missing some of their hair stuff so I need to figure out where that is um, and then I can put like little rubber bands and hair ties and stuff in here and then their toothbrush and toothpaste in there yeah so everyone has their own little drawer well, the twins are sharing, but for the most part, they're kind of split up, so they've got their stuff and their hair care stuff, and everything's organized and has a place. I'm quite pleased with the transformation of this downstairs bathroom.
here's the finished product of the upstairs bathroom. And I just added our extra rolls of toilet paper up there. And then I did pick up a new shower curtain liner, but I haven't put that on yet, so I will. And then I just left this tray here so we have a little spot for the air freshener and that little bath treatment because I don't want to get rid of that. And then in here, I just have the girls' hair brushes and then the extra toothbrush and toothpaste that we have um, from the boys. So I guess they're gonna have one upstairs and downstairs. And then under the sink here, like I said, it's pretty, pretty bare. We just got some cleaning supplies to be able to clean the bathrooms upstairs, a plunger and a toilet scrubber over there. And then this is extra stock of a bunch of um, this brand, Fairy Tales sent us a PR package with a bunch of their stuff. This one is the Rosemary Repel, so it helps prevent lice. So anyway, so we've got a stock of those products here. And then that's just a little extra travel potty that we sometimes take in the car when we've got kiddos in potty training phases. And this is just, a, I, have, I don't know what I wanna do with this yet, but I definitely don't wanna get rid of it. I'll probably end up using it downstairs in the kitchen or in the pantry, but I'm just gonna leave it in here for right now. It's helpful to create useful vertical space in cabinets like this, but as you can see, I don't really need it. So I'll probably need it in the kitchen though. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am really tired. I really feel like I should just film these intros and outros before I begin because <gasps> today especially I'm like, I'm really dragging. So I'm glad it's done. I'm, it feels a lot better to be more organized. And so far, all of the projects that I have done up to this point, everyone has done a pretty good job of, of keeping the systems in place, of continuing to use the systems, even the toys where I sorted the toys. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll, I'll link it. But I think it was the last one I did um, of our homeschool room and toys. But the kids have so far been putting everything back and i just think it helps so much to not number to number one not have as much stuff and number two have a really clear uh put away place for everything so i'm hopeful that what i've done in here in this bathroom and what i've done in the downstairs bathroom particularly will be able to to stay as it is and, and be able to stay very functional and useful and easy to find um all of this i'm not gonna lie you guys like i think this is probably I don't know, maybe the sixth video, sixth or seventh video I've done in this series. And like, I cannot even begin to tell y'all like how much peace doing this whole project for my whole house has brought to our whole home, to our whole family, my kids included, my husband included. I feel like we were all feeling overwhelmed and they didn't recognize it in the same ways that I did. But um, I'm gonna talk a lot more about all of this at the very end when we're done with everything. I am gonna do a video and talk to you guys about everything that I've learned along the way. Um, and tips that I have learned along the way as well. So I'm gonna have a really great video for you guys when all of this is done. Just sharing some things from my experience as well as some things that I think might help you if you are planning on kind of doing this with your entire home as well. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. The next declutter will be the kitchen. It will be, it's, it's gonna be a doozy. I'm gonna need a lot of coffee that day. I know this for sure. So that's it though for this one and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.